at the time you were Minister of Finance, you used your influence and your position to protect Zambian Airways from paying these monies. Again, I think the public would want to know. I didn't know who owned the Zambian Airways for a long time. Somewhere beginning of 2008, two gentlemen came and they had made an appointment. And they came into the conference room to present a report on Zambian Airways. And the two gentlemen were Fred Membe and uh, uh, Mutembo Chinto. When they sat there, I was not alone, I was with my officers. So nobody can take a financial decision of any nature without getting back to the Minister of Finance. And somewhere in the middle of June, I got this letter which came from the, uh, Mr. Nchito. It was a copy, but because Mr. Mrs. Lea was not replying, he kept on saying, but the minister has promised, I met her yesterday, I, I met her the other day. So I said to my officers, look, this matter is urgent. I cannot, as the captain of the economy, allow Zambian Airways to go under because they owe money to government. How much money were we talking about? At that moment, uh, national airports was owed $1.9 million.